Hi everyone, this is Mac. Welcome to another Tale from Sparrow. Okay, we've just entered CWL week and so we're going to have a look at a skill that we as a clan really need to improve on. We've got some people that can do it, but we really need to get more of our lower town halls or in, in Agogi, that's our 11s and 12s and in Crypt, that's our 10s and 11s hitting up. And so we need to be able to hit Town Hall 13s and Town Hall 12s for 2 stars. We're not after 3 stars, we're after 2 stars. And what that does, it allows our higher Town Halls to attack lower down. So we're going to look at a few examples of that, um, using some different strategies, so that um, you can see the sort of the thought process that we go through um, when we're hitting a Town Hall. So the first thing is choosing the right base. So what we're looking for um, is percentage and the Town Hall. That's the two things we're after. So on a base like this, we've got the town hall sitting up here, um, right out the way, um, with not much defence around it, but basically an offset town hall, not someone sitting in the middle. That's our easiest ones to target um, uh, for two stars. And then also what we need is little bits of free percentage all the way around the base. So you can see that there's actually, it's quite spread out, so there's uh, and the idea behind that is to try and stop it, make it difficult to funnel. But what that allows is that there's actually um, bases, uh, bits of the base that we can uh, pick percentage up on. So, first thing when you come for a plan for this is to look for your free percentages. So you look at stuff like your air defence here, your defence over on this side. You look at um, the um, the range of it, and you think, right, okay, I can get a minion there, I can get another minion there. Um, there's a mortar here, so you can't put any archers around this bit because of this mortar. Um, but what you can do is uh, possibly get an archer in there. Okay, so you're looking for where can I get little bits of free uh, percentage like that using minions and archers, and then also where would we get a lot of value from a baby drag? So down the bottom here, um, you've got a wizard tower and a cannon. It's just hidden behind the uh, the attack button, um, but that's got some. Uh, some potential for value there as well and then the next thing you need to look at is how you're going to get in and attack this town hall what is the what is the route that you're going to get in um so options are blimp another option would be wall wrecker um, and they're probably your two go-to um siege machines that you want to be using because they both target the town hall um, and you can build your uh, attack around that so for this town hall what we want to do is be cutting a funnel um, by um, removing uh, a bit of the base round about here and then what that'll do is any troops that we put up here they will then move in towards the middle here right towards these two big uh, double bomb towers um, and another thing you think about here is um, the order that you do things in so you do that push in the town hall once you've picked up those percentages because remember that this bad boy down here this eagle um, has a troop limit on it so as soon as you start dropping troops, it's going to start um, getting ready to activate. So the longer you can leave that push for the town hall, the better. So pick up the wee bits of percentage first. Do that first. Once you've got those bits of percentage picked up, then move on to the push for the town hall. And the other thing, don't worry about the, uh, the, the CC troops. Or you still have to worry about them, but they're not essential for killing them before the push or anything like that. As long as you can get to that town hall um, and without activating the CC, brilliant if you can completely avoid the cc then do not likely that's possible you probably are going to activate it at some point okay so that's the sort of the thought process that you need to go through when you're attacking a base like this and obviously it needs practice um do not underestimate um the giga at town hall 12 and at town hall 13 if you're a town hall 11 and it's the first time you attacked like you need lots of freezes lots of rage to get through that and your warden is probably going to be going with your main sort of town hall push it's an absolute beast uh that giga uh, and that bomb will wipe out all your troops um but more worryingly it's not the end of the world as long as you get the town hall but more worryingly the giga tesla and um, fries your troops before it's even taken down the town hall then that's a disaster okay so let's have a look at how uh, genesis goes about doing this and then we'll look at a couple of other examples as well it's a bit of a strange way to show a replay because the first thing we're going to first thing is going to do is the cleanup 
Yeah. So he's looked for, he scouted the base well, and he's looked for those little bits of percentages. So he's got minions over at this side, picking up percentage, and he's got a couple more minions over this side as well, okay? So he's just letting that um, develop, letting them uh, pick off those little bits, and while that's happening, he's sitting, he's working, he's um, watching that, and he's seeing if there's any little buildings that um, that are getting missed that he can potentially put something down on later on. Okay, so you see that as the um, as these start, these troops start to move in, they start to get targeted by like archer towers and stuff like that. So he puts another uh, archer over there. So he's he's misjudged that slightly. The mortar targets it, but that's fine. He's just there's no harm in testing. And then, now that that's going, he's just ignoring them and he's using E-Drags for a nice wee funnel. See, each E-Drag is only getting targeted by um, one Archer Tower. And so E-Drags have got quite a lot of tanking in them, so they're able to take quite a few hits. Genesis, by the way, is a, a Town Hall 12. It's a Town Hall 12 hit and a Town Hall 13. Um, we can do it with Town Hall 11 as well, and we'll move on to that in a second as well. So now that funnel's um, created, he's now you got um, some super drags up, the, uh, some super drags, some super giants up the top there. All the traps have popped. And then he's brought in um, behind the wall wrecker. He's got um, bowlers, witches, and uh, his heroes as well. Yeah, and the wardens at the back. Wall wrecker takes it straight in. He deployed that heal early, and that's because there was a um, couple of uh, quite a lot of red on the health of some of the troops there. And then at the, see at the back here, he's got the giga perfectly timed to protect all those troops as they come through. And then he's got a jump and a poison on the CC troops and then another heal as well. This now is all just bonus percentage. He's got some things wandering, actually not the end of the world. And see, he's had that jump behind the, the um, town hall to get everything through. And then it's just letting everything rage up, use the hero's abilities and all that sort of stuff. Just letting them all flow through and then once the dust settles you can see he's got a minion and a couple of uh, archers and you'll see if there's any other little bits of percentage you can get for example if this archer tower goes down then this cannon is good for that minion i see because that mortar got taken out he can now use that uh, these archers on this side because that mortar is gone right we'll speed it up you can see that's a really um effective way of getting a pretty good percentage but more importantly getting those two stars okay let's go and have a look at a couple of other examples we're over at a warring crypt now and uh, this is me a town hall 11 or my mini a town hall 11 attacking a town hall 12. so same sort of principles are applying here um you can see i've pushed with something slightly with some uh, slightly different troops but basically what we're going for here is creating a funnel and getting in and this town hall is slightly deeper and that's why i've taken a bit of a different approach here so I've got um, ice columns down and uh, big golems behind as well. And the wall wreckers making that push for the town hall. And then the bowlers and the king and the queen are really just there to try and get some percentage. You can see that it all goes a little bit wrong. My wall wrecker takes a really weird route to the town hall. But I've got that jump, which was actually designed for behind the town hall. But I've got the jump there, and so I can use the jump. And I forgot my warden, so the warden's coming in proper late. Um, you can see that they're just keeping them raged up, letting them go through. And I think I deploy the, the, the eternal tome here, which is too early. And so as the tome, um, as the tome wore off, then the town hall giga got them. So I've missed out on quite a lot of the extra percentage just from getting that. And then you can see I've got baby drags around the side here. Um, I like baby drags for um, tanking. Uh, they're quite tanky and good for cleaning up. And then see up the top here, um, got some minions coming down as well. Because I was getting the ego first, I knew that I could get the, um, the clean up done afterwards. But the problem that I had was that I then had um, these two CC drags, which were a problem and actually uh, meant that I couldn't get um, a little bit more percent, which is really annoying. I tried freezing them. A little bit along here as well. Okay, there you go. Right, last hit I've got for you is a brilliant one. Absolutely beautiful hit on a Town Hall 13. So this attacks by uh, Sneds 2. This is his uh, mini. 
Uh, it's just Ned's mini, which is Ned's too. And um, yeah, he's a Town Hall 11 and this is a Town Hall 13. So first thing he does is he ends up blimping. So he did that by a couple of uh, tester balloons to get any air bombs. And then he's frozen the CC, the scatter shot, um, and the Town Hall. Um, and then got the town hall. And that's all he wanted to do with that. That was the, the, the entire mission there, which is getting down to get the town hall. And then he's got the uh, the king over on this side. And he's just creating um, a little uh, funnel on this side as well. Really all we're doing here is just now just picking up percentage. He's just trying to get some percent. See, he's got 18 baby drags, some loons, and then a couple of ground uh, clean up as well. So the... I think the idea was that the heroes were going in and picking off this air defence, which would then allow the baby drags and the loons to get in. All goes a little bit wrong, but you know what? He's got the town hall, and now he's got loads and loads and loads of time to just pick up all these extra defences. Um, he had to use a wizard up here to get these pups because the queen just ignored all the CC troops. I think she blew up the hound and then just ignored everything. Got distracted by other stuff. See, now that, that air defence is down, he can start putting it... Uh, baby drags around and he's got loads of extra spells as well so he tries to rage up his queen just to get as much value gets one more build in there as well and then he's just picking up little bits of percentage so that archer tower as soon as it's distracted by that baby drag sends a loon in same over here when these loons up here are distracted um, the archer tower is distracted by those loons he sends in extra loons and then that just gives a bit more space where we can get another drag down as well it's just about getting little bits of percentage wherever you can. And the drag loon combo works really well. The baby drag loon combo works really well. Freeze on the, um, the uh, royal champ there so that that drag can get through that storage. Freeze in the eagle as well. Always handy when I mean, you've got extra freezes to do that as well. And remember, with baby drags, you're trying to keep them a little bit apart, um, have them spaced out so that they stay raged up like that. Remember, guys, this is a Town Hall 11 taking on a Town Hall 13. There you go. 70% 2 star. Not bad at all. So there you go, there's a variety of hitting up techniques particularly useful in CWL because mismatches are so extreme in CWL. So if you um, liked the video then give me a like. If you've got any, uh, if you think there's anything that I missed then put it in the comments, let me know and please 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 subscribe. Thanks very much. Cheers.